here. So I've just arrived in Bangkok and I'm staying at the Centra Grand in Lak Prao. This is my second time to Bangkok. The first time was about three or so four years ago with the girls. I'm here this time to visit the Thai Fax. It's the largest food and beverage uh, trade show in Asia. Let me give you a quick room tour here. For the ceremony which will come in next. Counting down to this very important event of the region. So if you're ready, ladies and gentlemen, in five, four, three, two, one. So this is my first time to Thai Fax and also the first time to a food trade show. Uh, as a first impression, it looks so much more fun than other industrial trade shows, you know? You not only get to see your favorite food character, but also get to sample. There's so much food here. Now one dancing Tom Yum bottle right there, we're going to take a picture with him. <laughs> There's so many cooking demos are going on and the best part is we got to I sample them. <laughs> many reasons why people go to trade shows uh, they want to seek for new customers uh, look for uh, suppliers you know and um, building up networks expose themselves to the media and also see uh, competition where they are uh, actually positioning their products and how competitive are their product and for everybody else from the exhibitors to the media and the visitors it's a really great chance to Cut up with the new technologies and the train of the um, industry. This one is a coconut milk tablet. Oh, yeah. coconut milk tablet. <laughs> this one is durian flavor. <laughs> now we are at Thailand Creative Food Section and we're gonna see a cooking demo by a really famous iron chef from Thailand. Very special welcome drink. So this is Chef Kunta. So it does the food. Everyone is welcome to our fine show. She making us a welcome drink uh, from this red piece of wood, uh, some lime juice and a piece of um, bitter lemon peel. Very fragrant. As she cooks, the wood stick turns to the syrup red, uh, but when she squeezes in the lime juice, it uh, magically turns to yellow color. <laughs> Fascinating. Let me give it a try. Now she will make us uh, some turmeric lobster and a special sauce that come with it. Do it again. Thank you. Enjoy your dish. Wow, look at all these colors and presentation. It's just really a piece of art. Uh, you know, Vietnamese cuisine and Thai cuisine is like very familiar. Yes. And I very often get asked, you know, what is the difference? How Vietnamese cuisine is different from Thai cuisine? And I want to hear from your perspective, how do you think um, Thai cuisine is different from Vietnamese cuisine? Vietnamese cuisine. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, love, I love Vietnamese. Really light, really healthy. Yes. Almost is a herb and vegetable combined yeah. together. Right. And Vietnamese is the best fish sauce right? for cooking. <laughs> Thai food, they have fish sauce, but strong flavor compared to Vietnamese. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in Vietnamese expert for the rice noodle and the fish sauce. 
right. from my point of view. Oh, okay. <laughs> Compared to Thai, Thai is more spicy. Right, right. Spicy. We use we use a lot of herb. We use not only lemongrass, but Vietnamese is a lot of lemongrass used. Right, right. But Thai, we use um, kaffalam, lemongrass, chili, uh, yes. and dry shrimp. And dry shrimp. Dry yes. shrimp. Right. Like become, become very strong flavor right. compared to the Vietnamese. But right. very similar. We are a Southeast Asian flavor. Right, right. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. So I think far. it's the closest uh, very close. to the Vietnamese cuisine. Very and... close. Somehow, some. Because uh, like in Thai, we have um, appetite like eating deep fried thing or salad thing or the noodle. Uh, that is similar to Vietnam. Right, right, right. But in the curry part, our world is strong. And Thai food is very, very, very strong feel. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> I love, I love Vietnamese. <laughs> I love Thai food too. Yeah, <laughs> have thanks. a nice day here. Consider this is just a small, medium-sized enterprise in Thailand. I am really impressed with how modern their production line is. This is one of their most innovative products. It's a sparkling coconut water, mango and pineapple flavor. So let's try. This is the first time that I try the sparkling coconut water. Wow, it's, it's really, really special. I can smell and taste like you know the strong coconut like coconut oil flavor and um, the mango and pineapple flavor definitely go through it's very refreshing I prefer this to soda <laughs> and this one is their best-selling products coconut beverage with uh, various flavor but um, I'm not quite a fan. Actually, I prefer the sparkling water than this one. It's quite diluted and bland to my taste. So this is the making of Pad Thai, uh, the most popular noodle dish in Thailand, I believe. There are shrimps, bean sprouts, noodles and various toppings like carrots, peanuts and garlic. Fish sauce, lime juice and bean sprouts and garlic chives. Good morning everyone, so today is my fourth day in Bangkok. Yesterday we really had a great time and we went to visit the Thai cocoa factory in Ratchaburi and then we had an amazing lunch at the um, Anpaka restaurant, I think it's the best restaurant uh, near Ratchaburi. In the afternoon we went shopping and has a really good pot Thai there. So today we are going to the Thai Fax again. We're gonna spend the whole day there because obviously it's so big that we couldn't cover on the first day with the opening ceremonies and all that. So, so I hope that um, I will meet some really cool people there and I also want to explore some more booths and stands that I think was very interesting on the first day but I didn't have much time to spend on so let's see. For today's breakfast, I'm just gonna have some fruits, uh, some uh, 
fried donuts with a pandan custard and a little bit of soy milk. <laughs> I'm gonna save room for later, you know, now that we're gonna have a lot of sample to try at the show. <laughs> Before YouTube, I actually been working in various industries, and for some reason, I always been sent to, um, you know, trade shows. I've been going to many trade shows from uh, travel industry to electronics and energies and water show. I used to work in a trade show marketing company in Germany, organizing Europe and North America for pavilion. Um, and uh, I've been to many trade shows in uh, Asia and I must say this is a really, really organized one. Wow, this booth is always packed with people. Let's walk in and see what's happening inside. Okay, so can you tell me a little bit what is this food well, about? Well, here is a bit. Oh, we work with the ITP of Thailand, oh. and for the Thai folks, for this fair, oh, we use bit to like to uh, filter, to inspire, to direct the right food for the customer. Oh. And here is we got an activity, kind of innovation activity. On this table, we got like 60 food on this table, and you got pick only three food. Only three. Because okay. our concept is bit, which is form three bits, one bite. And tell us by scan barcode web app, our web app, okay. and read it, like give it a point. And describe your feeling, like give it a so name. So I'm gonna rate uh, out of 10? Uh, no, just five. Five, okay, yeah, okay. scale so five. Whether I like it or not. Yeah, and okay. describe your feeling. Is it good, is it bad, delicious, you give it five. Uh, yeah, and then you got click send. Uh, yeah, okay. and then click send. Your ingredient, your creativity will be shown on the screen oh, right away, cool. like real time. Uh, yeah, so you will be inspired to other people on this booth. And what are you gonna do with all this information? After that, our inf uh, your information, your menu will be shown on our website, so everyone can enter it and learn about it, learn about that information. Uh, like a buyer, manufacturer can learn what is the new nowadays, what people eat, so they can like they can grow their business. Oh, yeah. cool. Thank you. you so let me us? try. Yeah, okay, sure. sure. You see here on the table, it's food that has innovation aspect. And that could be a solution for a more efficient lifestyle. And they are on the table, and you could find them like in the pavilion here. But we use this table to present them together. And that, like, to maximize the success between buyers and brands. So, like, People come here, see what uh, attract you, get inspired, try it, play with it, and then direct you to talk to the brands. And that is how we gonna have it, like for this time. So on the table, you have food arranged in color of spectrum. You would find starter, main dish, and dessert. But that's the rules, and that is to make a combination of three, to have it in one bite and tell. <laughs> and by telling, we do it through the web app. What happened is that it will be projected real time. And that is how we create the data, and that is how it is interactive, and um, it will be inspired like other people, it is an integrative process when your creativity affects other people's creativity. So these, okay. these are, you know, um, collagens, it's yes. for toppings. For toppings and, uh, yes, especially toppings. And uh, the, the best way is for drinks. Oh, do you use this in savory dishes? Savory, like you know, salty dishes, or only for sweets? Uh, whatever is fine. Yeah. Since our customer is using for hot pot, hot pot, dabe, yes, oh, hot pot really? or soup. So it doesn't dissolve in water. So if you heat it, you cook. Does it melt? Doesn't melt. It melt. Doesn't melt. Oh, it doesn't melt. It doesn't oh, melt. Oh, okay. so, so you can use both soup as well, hot pot soup. Oh, Either nice. way is fine. Right. So what is what is it made of? Ingredients of the seaweed. 
Oh, it's a seaweed. You take out from seaweed uh. and then make a bowl. Oh, mm. so it's not uh, pork or anything. So it's no, from no. the sea. Mm. And the uh, animal free. Animal free, yes. All right, that's mm. cool. Mm. That's Marine cool. collagen. Yeah, nice. Mm. Been around a year. Only a year. Yeah. Wow. Cool. So this is also the first time that I see it. That's so why I want to try. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can try now. Cool. Basically, it's sticky rice uh, with coconut milk. Uh, yeah, we cook it um, in the uh, traditional Thai recipe, uh, and then we put the fresh durian, like the bandit durian, on top. So uh, the concept is like cookies or um, some snack that you can just crispy right? yeah cook, eat yeah okay anywhere you want okay <laughs> let me try <laughs> but the smell of the coconut milk um, mm. and the durian will be mm. mixing together in your mouth mm. yeah mm. so it's like you actually taste like the whole dish of the durian sticky rice oh. but in just one bite it's really cool Mm -hmm. It's crispy and it's not too sweet, which I really like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank <Good>. you. <laughs> yeah, and it's one year shelf life. Like you can keep oh. it for one year in the room temperature. This is the collagen. That have like a collagen 2000 milligram uh -huh. uh, plus the vitamin C, which is like a good for the skin. Okay. And uh, this one is the the ingredient with the chamomile, alkanitine, acyanine, and lavender. This one help you to relax. Mm. It tastes like lychee. <laughs> Hey everyone, look who I found. So I am at Thai Fix, the biggest food trade show in all of Asia. And Helen from Helen's Recipes is also here doing her own little video. So it's just, you know, I've been watching her stuff. She's been watching my So we've known about each other for a very long time. So it's just incredible that we have a chance to be here. Have you been to Thai Fix before? No, this is my first time oh, to really? Thai Fix. Yeah. And what do you think so far? I think it's a great show, very well organized, and um, I meet a lot of cool people here. What do you think about the food that you've been seeing? Um, some very new products. Yeah. Some I haven't seen before. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of stuff that and some really very, surprised uh, me. Familiar brands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Oh yeah, there's a lot of big brands, but I see there's a lot of like little brands too. Like I was really surprised by just some of the products that I've never seen before. Right. That right. are like that are not available on the market they're right. launching it right here right. and so like we are the first to get to see it so, right, and you cool. kind of hope like the ones that i like i really hope that they do make it and that it becomes available but you know we'll see right? Like, right right not everybody is going to make it so you just fingers crossed for the good ones right yeah <laughs> so you you're gonna be here for like two weeks so i've been here for a week um just to visit friends and family and then this week has just been um, shooting non-stop so we went wow. to shoot at a rice noodle factory we went oh. to shoot at the coconut factory and now we're here for two days just picking up highlights of the most interesting products mostly from Thailand and yeah it's just been like non-stop go 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 so <laughs> we're our last day now of shooting oh really yeah and you <laughs> yeah it's also the same I mean, I just the main visit is to visit the show, but then I'm also exploring Bangkok, you know, go shopping, yeah. oh, <laughs> buying more Thai products. <laughs> yeah, there okay, you go. Yeah, and uh, I think it's cool, really, really cool to come here and see many new things, all the trend in uh, food. And yeah. yeah, yeah, for really sure. Cool. Are there a lot of Vietnamese products here? Yeah, some. We do have like pavilion here and there. Okay. Yeah, Vietnamese pavilion. Yeah. But not so, not as many as Thai. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm gonna expect to see Thai products on your uh, Thai recipes on your channel. Right. Now should, that you've been here. We should here. try time to you know film together. I know. Yeah. At some so point. busy. <laughs> if you ever come to Canada, right? That's so I'd far away. I'm more than happy to host you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I think I will. You know, 
uh, get some recipe ideas inspiring from the products and the flavor of mm -hmm. Thailand mm -hmm. or what I've tried so far on the trip and I will create something for yeah. the audience <laughs> food and food in this show is really good right, right? like just the samples that I've tasted I've, I've been really impressed with the quality of the, the flavors that are in the products and so I think you can get a lot like I've gotten a lot of inspirations here right myself. So I've, I've met, uh, you know, um, Sonny Sai from the food, uh, Best Ever Food Review show, yeah. Song Yolangas, and then my audience, you know, say, come make a pie, and I say, you know, pie so far away, but finally <laughs> I, I meet you here, that's there so you go. great. There you go. this is like, <laughs> if you're anybody who's in the food industry, right. and you're in Asia, like this is a must go, like I haven't just run into, I've run into like, just right. other people that I know right. who have the chef anything to do at all in the food industry, like they are here. I mean, this is the place to be, right? Cool. Thousands and thousands of people. So, so it's a coincidence, but at the same time, it's not because, it's like, yeah. of course you're gonna be here. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cool. So nice to see you nice here. Nice to see yeah. you too, and Helen. Enjoy uh, filming more. Likewise, and hopefully we'll get a chance to cook together one of these. Days. Right. I hope so too. Yeah. <laughs> going on here so many choices of food this is really food lover paradise This is Kwai Chap, a noodle soup dish, but uh, the noodle is actually made from a triangle piece of flat rice sheet, and as you cook, it curls up. The soup is very savory, and it has a really strong um, white pepper taste to it. And the toppings, you have a roasted pork. Here you also see some different cuts of organ meats like you know the tongue, the liver, the stomach, a pork ball right there. I see tripe in here and scallion. Really good. 